what's up guys welcome back to another vlog welcome back to the plumber's world so guess what I'm cooking today uh, want a sneak peek uh, yes so I'm making oxtail let's see All right, guys, so as you guys could probably see, I washed my oxtail. I hope you guys can see the difference. If it wasn't washed, the meat would have been red. Let's drain some more water off. All right, so let's get this meat seasoned. The meat is not red. I mean it's washed with vinegar all right so let's put some seasoning and get this meat start cooking all right first I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper I'm gonna add this is not even open I'm gonna add some thyme. I'm gonna add some all-purpose. You guys can use whatever seasoning you have in your kitchen and what flavor you want to add to your meat to give it whatever flavor you want. So I'm just adding what I normally put on my oxtail. I'm gonna add some onion powder. Again guys, I don't measure. The spirit tell me when to stop. <laughs> Some garlic powder. So I'm gonna cook this today on my stove top. I'm not in no rush to finish cooking. So I'm gonna start cooking it early so it can take its time on a medium heat. I'm gonna add some adding black pepper. I'm gonna cook in it on a medium heat so it takes time and cook. I don't want to put it in the instant pot because I don't want my meat to be all coming off the bone. No, I don't want no cayenne. It's gonna be super hot. Let me put some paprika. Paprika. Put it over here so you guys can see it. Okay, paprika. Um, garlic, garlic, add much garlic as you want. Garlic is good for the body. All right, and then I'm gonna add some pimento seed. I did smash it a little bit so I can get the flavor out of the pimento. When I'm doing my rice and peas, I don't normally smash them. I put them in all, but for the meat wise, I smash the pimento. And I'm gonna put some scotch bonnet pepper. All right, I'm just cut up a little, all of it actually. Hopefully, it's hot enough. And I'm gonna add some browning. <coughs> this is what I use to get my meat brown. Grace brown. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna add some browning and then I'm gonna just use my hand and give it a stir. Well, look, it's all done. I'm gonna turn the stove on in the meantime so I can get the pot hot. Just rinse it out with a little bit of water and just dump it in there. There you go. My hands are clean. I'm going to give it a mix so all the seasoning you can get on every single piece of meat. I am not going to add any onion and sea pepper in my meat as yet. I'm going to let it cook through first. Then I add my seeds, my vegetables. It's better using your hand. You just have to wash it properly after you finish. Okay, okay. 
All right. Well, the pot is getting hot. Let me wash my hands. See? It's fully covered in seasoning, in browning. I think eventually while it's cooking, I'm going to add some more browning because this, well, let's see what happens in the cooking process. All right, I'm going to wash my hands. So see what it looks like, guys. That's what it looks like. With my hand is some soap, of course. And a little bit of bleach. Piece of paper. Okay, I see my son. Yeah, they're playing games. All right. So the pot is hot. You guys, take a look. Um, I don't put a lot of oil in my pot because the oxtail tend to to um comes up with a lot of oil so I don't really put a lot of oil I just put a little toast I don't even know if you guys can see but yeah there's a little bit of oil in there all right so let's put it let's put our meat in the pot all right so let's put it in Wash my hands again. Okay, let's put it in before washing my hands, right? Yes, sir. Alright. Dump everybody in the pot. Get my stuff mitten so I can hold the pot and give it a stir. So. So, normally, well, for most of my meat, I do not put water in right away. But it's, I allow the meat to cook a little bit before. I have water. So I'm gonna let it just cook a little bit. And I'm gonna put my kettle on to boil some water for the meat. I don't put cold water on my meat. So I'm gonna put some water on. Give this maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna see what it looks like, okay? All right, guys. See what I mean? There's no. I didn't put any water in. I got all of this water that the meat springs on its own, including oil. So I don't put any water and I don't put oil. So now the bowl that we season the meat in. The water did boil. Finish boiling. So I'm gonna put some water in it so then get rid of that season out. I'm gonna add the rest of the water and I'm definitely gonna put some more brown in because my meat is too white. Let's pull it up a little bit. I'm gonna turn the heat down so you can cook on a slow flame. So we're going to add the brown in a little bit later. Oh, no, well, let me add it now. And guys, in the next video, you, you guys are going to see that me and mom are going to make cookies on the next video. So you guys have to watch out for that video. So do not miss out on any of our so videos. So in order for them not to be, uh, miss out, what do they need to do? 
subscribe to our channel, give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> Guys, order from Nia herself. And we're gonna see if. So we're gonna turn the flame down on medium. Yes, and medium. Let cook for maybe 30, yeah. Mama, 45 Mama minutes, here. and then we're gonna Mama. come back, wash your hands. We're gonna come back and see if it needs to cook more. If it does, we put add some more minutes. We're gonna turn it down to a low flame. We'll be done. And then we're gonna come back. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, what it looks 45 like. Five minutes. All right, guys. Don't kill me, but I did lose track of the time. So, guess what? Just cook the oxtail until it is tender. Just check it every now and again, and then take it from there. So, cause I did lose time because I'm cleaning my bathroom. So yeah. So my meat is tender, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar because I'm gonna add ketchup just to take away the tanginess of the ketchup. And I cut up some onion and bell peppers. And I'm gonna add some butter bean. You can get this bean from your supermarket. I got it from Stop and Shop. This is it. This is what I use, butter bean. And I'm gonna add up some ketchup for thickness to my gravy. But I'm gonna cook it for a little bit more, maybe for 20 more minutes because the meat is already cooked. So I don't want the meat to be coming too much off the bone. Look at that. So yeah, we're gonna have this cook for maybe 20 more minutes so we can have the veggies and the gravy pick up some more. So yeah, we're gonna have it turn it up. I did have my flame turned down, so I'm gonna turn it up a little bit so it can go a little bit faster. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna give it 20 more minutes so the veggies can cook again. And then we're gonna come back and see what it looks like. And we're about done. All right, be back. Okay. Here we go. This is it. This is what my oxtails look like. See the gravy, steak, the meat is cooked, the veggies are cooked, the bean, cook of course. With the um, with oxtail. For me, it goes, i rather to eat it with rice and peas. But you can have it with anything. And I mean anything, I mean anything. You can have it with white rice, rice and peas, dumpling, banana, lamb, whatever you want to have it with. It goes perfect with anything. But i rather to have it with rice and peas. So, yeah. That's it. That's my oxtail. The way oh, I make it. So, if you guys choose to do it this way you guys can try to make it the way how I make it uh, yes all right guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to our channel give us a big thumbs up and turn your bell notification on we we'll see you guys in our next video plumbers where we're out Please. <laughs>